guys today I'm gonna show you how I made this super cute corset top my inspiration for this corset came from Oscar de la Renta a dress I didn't have enough fabric for the dress because this uh, fabric was a gift from my mother-in-law she purchased it from a thrifting store and it was a very small piece and uh, it was actually a good idea to make a top because I can use it more often, I guess. So I'm gonna show you how I made it. I used two patterns, a corset pattern, um, that you can also use whatever corset pattern you have with stripes on the shoulder. And for the sleeves, I used another pattern. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye use this pattern here because they have the shoulder stripes and I'm also going to modify the neckline here to be a little bit more square on my pattern and um, like I said you also can use another pattern so on Etsy it's a bunch of patterns that has for example the stripe the shoulder stripes or you can make your own So I already print out my pattern pieces and I also modified here the neckline to look a little bit square, okay? And I also went ahead and print out my um, Juliette sleeves, that is two patterns, here's the down and here's the puff side of the sleeve. And um, here is the fabric. I'm gonna cut all those patterns on the wool fabric. And I'm also going to cut off the um, pattern from the corset on this fabric for the lining. This is a very nice soft um, cotton fabric. It's, I believe, I think it's Liberty London. Um, fabric it's very nice so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut all my patterns
I sew all the pieces together for my lining. Okay, my lining is here and looks beautiful. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just give it a little bit iron. Yeah, I can get this off the camera so it's not going to take so much time. So, um, if you watch it, my video from the Valentine's corset, you saw that I saw the boning or Regilene, this one is six millimeter, um, on my front piece, right? But this time I'm gonna sew the bony on my lining because I'm gonna sew the stones, the um, yeah, the details on my front piece. So I don't want to the bony to be on my way. So anyway, um, if I will remember when I show you at the last video, <coughs> I'm gonna measure from my seam allowance it's one centimeter so i'm gonna cut a little bit smaller from that so one centimeter and a half and here i'm gonna stop at one centimeter and a half also and then i'm gonna cut it off and in the ends i'm gonna put a tape like this you can also burn i don't like to burn <laughs> i don't like actually the smell of it so, so let's see here, one centimeter and a half. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna sew this only on my uh, seam allowance. I, I do a little bit around like this. Let me take a tape. And then I'm going to cover the one. I normally don't use this tape. I like the one that it's like I got from the pharmacy. It's to put on your when you have a surgery so that it can be wet and it's not gonna dissolve, you know. So I'm gonna sew here only on my seam allowance. Then I'm gonna apply in all those uh, seam allowance and iron. And I'm gonna go ahead and close here. And then after sewing the um, boning here at the seams, for example, those two last seams, I'm gonna fold in that direction at the back direction like this. And then I'm gonna give from the right side a small stitch here that's gonna let can you see I did here and already did here so that means it's not gonna move that uh, seam allowance so it's gonna keep in place and I'm gonna give a big iron Okay, my stripe is um, 55 per uh, two centimeter and a half. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold and I'm gonna sew half centimeter from the end, four millimeters if, can, if I can manage that, like I did on this one. And to turn, I'm gonna turn with this thing here. I don't know the name of this. So it has this end here. So I'll try to find online and link. So it's easier to turn those kind of things because it's very hard to turn. I don't like this back of the corset that has the same as in the front. This kind of, you know, this around. So I'm gonna probably cut off this end here to look nicer 
you know, doesn't need to be that much, in all my opinion. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I'm going to sew the loops on my back and for that I'm gonna do some marks with the chalk to help me with that loop. I'm gonna do uh, like half centimeter check and half centimeter one more time and I'm gonna make one centimeter going to look something like that and I'm gonna mark one centimeter here and one and a half from here I, per I guess I'll try to stuff here and finish here so I'm gonna start from the first line here and I'm gonna touch the, the last one like this and then I'll go like two centimeter like here I can see on my board go up Maybe one more time, two. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and then I'm gonna sew very close from those loops down here to secure them because afterwards when you come with the lining, the line is gonna catch them here one more time at the middle point. So I'm gonna do that now. So the loops are here. I don't know if you can call them loops. <laughs> so it's the way I made. I think it's gonna be very pretty after you sew. It's gonna be smaller after you sew the the lining. So now we have to sew the front piece with the lining together. So let's get my line. Here it is. So right side together with the right side. And we are going to pin and of course we're gonna focus on the side on the seams matching all the seams together I'm gonna pin all here on top So I sew here around and looks like this now. The, it's still open here in the armhole because we're gonna sew the sleeves 
and here the back is still open because now I'm gonna cut around like make some cuts now I'm gonna to flip this piece and I'm gonna give a small um, straight stitch on my lining but I'm gonna bring all the um, seam allowance to the line direction and then I'm gonna sew here I'm gonna do that because I don't want when I'm wearing the top to show my lining so it, and this uh, stitch is gonna help to do that so I'm gonna give all around here where you sew like I stitch very close to the line I'm going to turn again to the wrong side and I'm gonna sew here where we have the loops and I'm gonna fold this corner to the line direction there I'm gonna to seam and I'm going to in here and so so here it is I'm gonna cut in the corners here and turn and iron so I gave a zigzag stitch around here to keep the fabric just together to not move because I'm gonna sew the long sleeves the sleeves here and then I'll probably gonna finish with bias tape to give a very nice finish inside this garment okay so it looks like this now it's open here as you see and I'm wondering if I'm just going to close here now or if I'm going to make the Juliet sleeves mm, 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 mm. I don't know okay I think I'm gonna go ahead and close here what I'm gonna do I am gonna turn Because the sleeves doesn't matter if the sleeves don't show because I'm not gonna then I'm gonna match here. Can you see? I'm matching. So I'm just iron where I'm going to sew after. So now I'm gonna turn it so it's enough to put my hands inside. So here it's open, I'm gonna close and sew this.
my case I don't know if you can see because the fabric is like it's busy so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just give like a tiny stitch and pick it up all those fabrics but not the last one ouch <laughs> and then it'll come back almost so again very tiny I like to do this stitch in this case because what is gonna happen is gonna keep my lining in place so my line is not gonna come whatsoever outside when I'm wearing the garment I believe this is kind of a couture stitch so I'm gonna do that all the way around I did already so I did this all the way around so and then it's going to be the fabric um, the lining in the right place now it's time for the sleeves because the bodice is basically done it looks so nice so I closed here so I'm very happy so let's do the sleeves so as I told you, I got these leaves from um, these leaves, the Juliet sleeves pattern. I don't remember from where. I will put the link down in the description. And the dress it calls the capulet dress, but you can easily make your own um, Juliet uh, sleeves. So let's pretend here is like your pattern from your sleeves like you have like a simple sleeves right and then you're gonna just take from where it's gonna start the normal arm okay and then you're going to cut off and this is going to be the pattern from here from your arm from here and here is going to you have to do like the puff sleeves what i like to do I like to take like from the center from the pattern and from there oops, and from there you start to create in my case you can um, if you're doing this please you need to first try on your um, in another fabric okay to see if it's enough to puff if you see if it's too much puff but you can do definitely something like this I have done it at once so so let's try one something that was very soft so you can leave here like two inches or two three two inches and see how it's gonna be and then you can just let's suppose I measure everything everything is going to be in the same space okay so basically this is it and then you have to head draw and go up here probably one or two inches also Is that it so here probably is going to be your Juliet leaves and then you're gonna gather and stitch here something like this so of course I did just this is very small example I did very quickly I didn't measure anything but it's just for you to have idea how you could work to make your own Juliet sleeves at home if you don't want to purchase a new pattern so I'm using this one because I already have it so otherwise I'll do this here okay and my pattern is a little bit special because my partner has like a pinch here in the arm um, probably the Juliet sleeves also has to have this I don't know um, but this way I'm sure it could work also the same if you do this way so anyway let's start to sew the, um, the sleeves 
Um, I think it's like the corners of the sleeves, the down sleeves. And I also saw the um, dart. Like I said, yeah, I did because my pattern uh, instructions had the dart, but if your pattern don't have, so you don't actually need. So here's the down, and I also think it's like where it's gonna come the waistline. So after you're gonna fold and make and sew, so you will make it look nice. I have so much hair going on, <laughs> falling in cat hair, and yeah. So this fabric, it gives me a lot of stuff. Yeah. So uh, first, what I'm gonna do. Okay, uh, we're gonna take this piece, this pattern piece here, and then let's put the iron a little bit because I see some stuff here. <laughs> well, uh, we're gonna take this pattern. I'm going to zigzag here. You can overlock if you have overlock machine. And then I'm going to give together with six here, here. And I'm going to sew here and this part of up to my arms so that's what I'm gonna do and I also zigzag the my this other piece of the pattern remember we did I also zigzag here here and here because later I'm going to make nice here on the waist so I'm gonna go ahead and give it to together with six here and I'm gonna connect here already and so so the sleeves looks like this right I was going to overlock, but I zigzag instead. I did one already, and the <laughs> overlock was very thick, so it wasn't came out very strange. But anyway, um, at this point, it looks like that. I'm just going to match the seams here. Where is my I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna close the sleeves here already. So I did um, two lines of gathering stitch on my machine and now it's time to attach it on my bodice. So I already did one as you can see. So I'm gonna just gather here. Oh before of course we need to measure the, the middle point here to match the middle of the um, to the shoulder so it's going to be have to have like a proportion of a gathering amount so it's half and half yeah it's okay So now I'm gonna pin like the seam allowance in the on the sleeves is gonna match the side seams from the corset here and the pin that we just put on the middle from the sleeves has to match the seam allowance here on the top.
so that's it now we're gonna i'm gonna pin all around and sew it's going to look like this one here looks so cute but it's not finished here yet so i'm thinking if i'm gonna put uh sew bias tape or if i'm going to just uh, zigzag stitch on this uh, seam allowance here so both of the sleeves are here looks so cute i used uh, i had like a kind of uh, overlock stitch on my sewing machine i did around the armhole doesn't look that pretty i don't like it so i normally used um bias in this kind of uh, project i think the finish it's much nicer so i'm just gonna go ahead off camera and then i'm gonna sew here around and then i'm gonna fold it okay and then i'll cover like this so i'm gonna cover gonna look like this all around i think it looks much nicer especially because this garment it looks like expensive it has this lining this liberty fabric that is very nice i use this wool fabric it's something that i'm gonna use a lot i believe so i'm gonna make it very nice inside and um, after that i'm gonna go and try it on to do the hemming on my waist, uh, my arm here. And then I'm gonna sew it. So let's, so let's take a moment to appreciate <laughs> the inside of the sleeves. Look how cute, very pretty and very well finish inside right with the bias i love it when uh, the garment looks so nice inside like no threads no seams showing off so very i'm very happy so i tried the top and one thing i don't like was this it's too small that's life i should have think about that before probably needs to use with high waist and uh, so anyway so i'm gonna do this off camera so if you see on the my pictures that probably this here will look like smaller so it's because i'm going to modify here so i'm gonna open here and hand you sew all this again going to look a little bit more like this okay and um, I'm gonna also sew the, the stones I got so I'm gonna give the link on my descriptions it's like a round and a drop so I'm probably gonna sew something like this so I'm gonna go around and play a little bit with how I'm gonna sew this around the top. So only on the front. Yeah, let's see. Whee!